So I think I should tell you all a little story about something that happened to me a couple years back. Pretty much goes hand in hand with the last video I made about gangs. I was about 10, 11 years old. I was staying with my father at the time and we were living in a pretty bad part of Baltimore City. I was in the house chilling and my father just came home from work and he said, Kane, I need you to go down to the store. I need you to get some bread. I need to make some sandwiches. So go upstairs, get dressed, so you can go down to the store so I can make dinner. Back then, sandwiches was dinner and shit. So I go upstairs and throw something on, and I come back down to get the money from him. And when I grabbed the money, he was still holding on to it. And he looked at me and he said, When you get outside, I want you to go straight across the street, then walk down to the store. Because some knucklehead boys is sitting on the corner in front of the barbershop. And I don't want no shit. Go down to the store, get your ass back in the house. Alright. I get outside and I look down the street and sure enough, just like my father said, about two, maybe three blocks, a couple people were sitting in front of the barbershop. So I do like I was told and I go straight across the street so I can make my way down to the grocery store. I noticed three people come on the same side of the street that I was on. Now mind you, I'm still about a good block, maybe a block and a half away from where these guys are standing at now. And on top of that, I'm thinking in my mind, the sun's still out. Shit don't happen in the daytime. So I'm walking, got my hands in my pocket, minding my own motherfucking business. Get about five feet away from where these three guys are standing at. Walk past the first two. About to walk past the third one, I see a motherfucking fist flying towards my face. All this. So I stumble back, and the first question out of my mouth is, who the fuck are you? I square up with him, and the other two dudes is like, yeah, yo, he don't live around here. Fuck him up, yo, fuck him up. Hold up, I don't live around here? Bitch, I live up the street. Bullshit, Wayne. I never seen you around here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I needed a motherfucking hall pass to walk down a goddamn block. But they don't want to hear that shit. They just want to fight. And I'm trying to watch him and the other two boys to make sure I don't get jumped. And next thing I know, one of the guys start yelling out some random shit. Blood. Blood. So I start looking at myself like, shit, I'm bleeding? I'm 11 years old. I don't know shit about no bloods and crips. But little did I know, yelling out the word blood in the middle of Baltimore City is like the equivalent to shining the fucking bat symbol in the sky. 15, 20 people come flying out that little ass barbershop across the street. One motherfucker was holding the door open. Come on, yo, come on, let's hurry up and get this nigga, yo. Another motherfucker still had on the barbering cape, the shit that they put around you before they start cutting your hair like he just hopped out the chair in the middle of his fucking haircut. Now I'm surrounded. My back is up against the fence and I'm standing in a half circle with all these people around me. And then the guy that hit me, he's standing in the middle of the circle and he looked me in my face and he said, now what? Only thing that was on my mind, y'all gonna had to earn this ass whooping. I saw my house two blocks away, and on my left side alone, it was five motherfuckers I had to get past first. I ran straight into them, full speed. I stiff armed the fuck out two people at the same time. Another guy grabbed my shirt, came around his ass too. Oh, swim move. You talk about speed? I outran a black Toyota Camry that day. And I know it was a Toyota Camry because when I started running, I was behind the motherfucker. I caught up with it, passed it, and ran out in front of it to cross the street to get to my house. Jesus and all his disciples couldn't have caught my ass that day. I get back in the house, nose running, face all red. My father look at me like, what happened? Dad, I did what you said. When I went outside, I went across the street and I went down there and they tried to jump me. So my father looked at me and he said, oh, damn. So you ain't get the bread? Motherfucker, what? I almost got killed. And you worry about bread? Well, excuse the fuck out of me. That was the first and last time that I ever, 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 ever ever got jumped again. And if the motherfuckers that did it are watching this tape right now, look what I just got done eating, bitch. I ain't 11 years old no more. Try me. I'm out.